Hey guys, Pastor Mike here, and um, tomorrow we gather again in our house churches. I'm so excited to hear what God is is doing in our house churches. The, um, the extended time just to be with one another, and I think that's one thing we've been missing during this COVID season is community, and that's the thing I keep hearing over and over again of how good that is. And uh, of course, we've had our bumps with sickness and those types of things, but uh, pushing through that. Uh, tomorrow, our house is going to be open up for a mask required house, and so um, uh, we will we will wear masks. So if, if you uh, need to wear a mask and feel comfortable wearing masks, please join us 10:30. Uh, the other homes will be open: the Burgesses, Guthries, uh, and Brawliers. So uh, please join us tomorrow. Also, just want to uh, you'll get some information, and we'll start handing out angels for the angel tree. Uh, we've got it right now about 60 kids that through Mobile Missions Network Church Inside Out we're going to adopt. So if you could uh, uh, adopt one and then have those gifts back by December the 13th would be fantastic. Um, but we're, we're excited about being able to, blessing, uh, be able to bless kids in our community. Uh, again, December 13th, have those back, um, but we'll start passing those out tomorrow. And so in combination with our ministry partners with Mobile Missions Network and us as a church, we're, gonna, we're just going to bless people. Um, if you are in our church and you need help with Christmas, we want to help you as well. So uh, if you would just message me and let me know, hey, we need some help, we would love to help you. Um, our Thursday night dinners have gone well. Uh, we've just, uh, we're going to resume those back after the first of the year. Also, on um, not uh, the, the Monday, Tuesday before Thanksgiving, uh, we're going to do a turkey drive in partnership with um, get out of the bus and shoulder to shoulder. So that Monday night, we're going to go here in Sepulpa and set up and hand out free turkeys, worship, all those things. And that Tuesday, we're going to go over in uh, kind of between Sand Springs and Tulsa, downtown Tulsa, and hand out turkeys. And our goal is 600 turkeys. And so we've got uh, that many uh, to be donated, and we're just raising funds for that. So if you want to donate uh, some funds for turkeys, uh, we're getting them for... Um, about six bucks, maybe somewhere around there per turkey. And so if you're able to help us and want to help donate to the cause and then also come out and serve, by all means come and do that. But, um, you know, we, we have a lot of ministry opportunities and, and the whole reason for that is, is lobbying softballs to give you the opportunity to number one, see God at work and taste and see the Lord is good. And so, um, please, uh, come in and be a part. Also, a great opportunity is Sherry Brawlier has started a ministry called Starfish Enterprises, where she's going to not just feed the homeless, build, build relationships with the homeless. And she's doing that on Sunday afternoons. And so maybe as a family or maybe as a house church, you might want to take a Sunday and go and serve with her. Um, we're in phase kind of one with our house churches, uh, which is basically we're establishing a, a rhythm for our house churches. It's been kind of... Uh, um, kind of crazy, but we're, try, we're just trying to establish a rhythm, rhythm this season. And our next step is, is missions. Each house church is going to adopt one of our ministry partners to pray for. That's Ryan and Michelle, Megan in Las Vegas, um, uh, Alex and Diana in Mexico, and Steve and Sandra. And so each house church is going to adopt one of those uh, missionaries to, to pray for and continually to keep in front of us to not forget them in their work. And then also uh, our priority will be, uh, you know, our mobile home communities. And so we want each house church to uh, to adopt a ministry that they can actively participate in. So our next three priorities uh, for 2021 will be our house churches, getting those, those up and going and uh, uh, supporting our house church shepherds, praying for them, giving them the resources needed to do well. We wanna multiply house churches, um, and then also is our mobile home communities. We're actually wanting to put uh, missionaries on site in e each of our communities. So would you pray for us? That's going to be one of our initiatives in adopting those communities. And our third one is uh, finding a home base for Church Inside Out Mobile Missions Network. So uh, would you pray for us for those three initiatives? And um, there's a possibility that we'll share on the 22nd uh, that we want you to pray for uh, about a home base. Uh, one one church we have been so grateful for is Angus Church. They have been uh, such incredible partners with the gospel, and so. Um, but we're gonna we're gonna find a home base for Mobile Missions Network to be able to ha house our mission teams, to be able to have our kids ministry, 
uh, to be able to do ministry 24 seven, a home base would operate much like our mobile home parks where we do ministry for the community around our, our church and where a church meets. So uh, some exciting things happening and I'm just gonna ask you to pray for those three initiatives, our house churches, our mobile home communities, and a home base. So more details will be coming, but I just wanted to let let you hear from me kind of what's going on. Um, but be praying for these things in your house church. Take a look at the weekly newsletter, uh, be up to date on what's happening and support those or who are on the front lines. So I'm excited to hear again what tomorrow is gonna bring, what the Lord is gonna do in our hearts. So uh, God bless you guys, talk to you soon, bye.